It's a bank holiday weekend and we're going camping for the first time in our Slam Transporter. This night was going to be the ultimate decider. Will we get the camping bug? Will we want to do this more? Will I decide to keep the van much longer and plan in more camping trips? Well, tonight, I guess we were going to find out, but first we had to get the van ready. Although it seemed like a big trip and a lot was riding on it, there wasn't a great big job to get this thing ready. We got the bed done, packed our personal belongings in the van, we took an Easter egg because it is Easter after all, made sure I put my pants and socks in there and packed a beer, okay, or a beer or two. And then the first time I wasn't going to be very good at camping was the fact that I got the hoover out and I started to hoover the mess out that was inside the van. Little did I know that grass was going to live in here for the next 24 hours. I made sure I had a little bit of light reading and to finish off I made sure that the van smelt nice because no one wants to sleep in a stuffy van. Good job boy Finesse. We're off on the first endeavour in the van. We're off to an actual campsite to see what this thing is actually like. Roughing it in the van somewhere out of the comfort zone of our own home. We're away for one night only. It's a bank holiday Easter weekend. There is a little bit of a catch. My family are there with their caravan. That's uh, Ollie Tedstone, that is. He's just interrupted the video. Put his Instagram on the screen. Cheers, Ollie. My family are there with their caravan, so we aren't going to rough it completely because anything we haven't got, I'm sure they've got it in their caravan and we will beg, borrow and steal off them. They're cooking tea for us, so we haven't got to worry about that. It's only a short journey, it's about 25 minutes up the road, so we're not too far from home, so if anything goes drastically wrong, we can come back. But I'm sure it's going to be good fun. I'm looking forward to it. I've got Shania with me as well. See if she enjoys it. We'll catch back up with you guys once we reach the campsite and we'll show you guys around. As a kid, I used to camp in a tent in the garden. I'd last a few hours and end up coming back indoors again. But I've never actually been proper camping in all my 25 years of life. And I've never slept in a van overnight. So as you can imagine, my feelings were pretty high. I was looking forward to this new experience and quite skeptical to how it was gonna work out. But on the way over, we did stumble into a few problems. At this moment, little did I know that these country roads were gonna claim the underneath of the van because I crashed into a massive bump, which didn't sound good. With the stress passing off hitting that horrible bump in the road, we'd almost reached our destination. We did have some other hiccups, but we'll talk about that later. But for now, we have finally arrived at our destination, our campsite for the night, Breck Farm Camping and Caravan Site. Campsites aren't made for stancy boy show vans and this dirt road actually through is so many spanners in the works. There was two big speed bumps which again crunched the bottom of the van but we didn't care. We'd made it, despite our problems, we'd made it. The sun was shining, the weather was beautiful. My niece, queen of the campsite, was taking us to our pitch as she'd been here plenty of times and I didn't know where it was. So leading our way to our pitch to see where we're gonna spend the rest of our night. Call me boss, but I definitely think I had the most style when it came to rocking up to this campsite. Definitely was the coolest transporter that I saw here. I think I've got the hang of this uh, camping malarkey. I mean, there can't be much more to it than breaking out a can of beer, walking around, enjoying the sunshine, drinking a can of beer. I think we've cracked it. Shania's over there, looking at all the farm animals. She's enjoying herself. We've got geese here. I think they're geese. Ducks, geese, don't know. We've got tonight's tea. The old pig. What's up, Jack? What do you reckon? He just said subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. He sounds like a fat person that's just run upstairs. And there's chickens over there. That's a dog I know, but that's what he sounds like. Uh. 
Are you enjoying the farm animals, Janaya? Yeah, yeah, that's so cute. Janaya's found some more animals. Well, they are cows. Look at all the, the grass trimmings that they're eating. He's green, look, he's gone green. Oh, no, he's got the zoomies. Hmm. Look at him. Good grub. Good scram. I scared him off. He's disappeared. I don't know anything about camping. I've never done this sort of stuff before. It's all new to me. But I just think that if we bring you guys along the ride, it'll be a bit of fun. This campsite was £27, I think, for the night, so I don't know if that's expensive or if that's all right. It is an Easter weekend, so I don't know if that's part of the price, but who knows? Like I've already said, I've got a beer going, so I think I've already cracked this camping malarkey. It's five o'clock, so it is five o'clock. It's got an acceptable tub of beer out, but me and Shania are just finding all the animals. And we've found a whole shed load, or field load, of cows. And one of them has escaped the field. That's the look of anger. Look at the cows. That speed bump there almost ripped the sump off the bottom of the van. It was not pretty. We did have some issues with the van alongside the speed bumps almost ripping the sump off on this thing. I thought the van smelt like it was on fire. Now, the steering was really funny and I felt like it was pulling. And I hadn't thought about what it could be. I thought it may be an issue with something to do with like the steering arm, something like that, hitting a pothole maybe. But it actually turned out to be the car was trying to set itself on fire. I had a sticky brake caliper and the brake discs were over 300 degrees. Um, I know I shouldn't put water on it, but I just thought that's a little bit sketchy. So I threw some water on it to try, to try and cool it down. And that went from like 300 degrees, so I think 90 odd degrees in the end. We've carried on driving on it to get here. Um, I think it's gonna be all right. We'll just have to whip the brakes off at some point and just make sure they're okay. But it was good enough to get us here. Didn't seem to pull anymore, but I did think it was gonna catch on fire. Honest, I'm a bit confused. I seem to have a 110 cable that's got 110 female on both ends. This one's got a plug socket on the end. So we now need to get the windscreen cover on. So then we've got a little bit of privacy when it comes to actually going to bed tonight. So then we'll set the camera up, get that rolling, and get the privacy installed. And just like that, the fan is set up. I had some issue with the 110. 
I was just, I don't even know, I'm tired. One thing about what I was doing, and I think I lost all ability, but 110's hooked up. We've got the screen covered with our little windscreen cover thing. And to be fair, that probably is the most we're actually going to have to do because there isn't really anything to set up. Parents' caravan is set up next door. We'll pull the bed out later on when it actually comes to uh, going to bed because if we don't have the bed, or if we do have the bed out, we lose all the floor space in here, so we'll probably pull the bed out last minute. But no, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. It's good. It's early days, but we'll see how we go on. Now I think it's time to crack a beer open and go for a little walk, have a little look around and see what we can find in the local area. Sun's shining, absolutely lovely. So, thumbs up for me. Lovely. Cheers. We did in fact find a local pub where I managed to get another beer down the hatch. We've just been to the yeah. pub. You can talk. Just bring me up down crisps. Yeah, dogs might eat them. They're accessible. Just get those Say hello to YouTube, Mum. Hello, YouTube, Mum. We've just been to the pub. We've had some more beer. We're in the parents' caravan. There's the old man. Hello. I'm Ollie's daddy. We're in the caravan. Tonight he's staying with me. <laughs> I'm going to change his nappy at 9 o'clock <laughs> and breastfeed him at 10 and then put him down for the night. Put him down? <laughs> <laughs> Mum's cooking dinner. We're waiting for that. We've got burgers, sweet potato fries and chips. It's very nice out here. Oh, you shut it up. Got the dogs in here. Ralphie in, it? <sighs> Sitting in the awning. There's Ralph. He's playing with the bones. I can see the appeal to people wanting to do this. I know it is only March, but the sunshine would be beneficial. I would definitely have an all-inclusive holiday over this, but the sunshine would make it a better experience. I don't know if you're counting, but I've lost track on what number beer this is. Cheers. Let's go back to the caravan. The caravan, the van, Schneider's in there. Very condensated up. Let's see what she's doing in there. Hello. You might be, but viewers might get lucky. Can I come in? With it being a sofa bed, all I had to do was pull a little strap and the yeah, bed pulled yeah. out like so. We put the pillows in place and then we were pretty much there to go. Then it was time to brush our teeth, getting ourselves ready to test out what this thing was going to be like. It's 20 past 10, the clocks go back, so we've decided to call an early night as we're already tired. We're all ready to go bed set up it's really hot in here though um might be too hot but we'll find out fingers crossed we have a better night's sleep because last time we slept in here that didn't actually go to plan and i woke up really early in the morning cold because the heating turned off woke up i feel really cold I feel damp so all that's left for us to say is good night and we'll catch up with you in the morning Honestly. <laughs> I'm dying. I've got a leg ache. <coughs> oh, my back. No. It's not that bad, is it? I'm sweating. It is hot on it. It's 21 degrees. It does need to be a bit softer, this mattress, doesn't it? Yeah, but I'm going to wake up with spinal problems.
Welcome to my club, I got them already. <laughs> <laughs> Despite a questionable night's sleep, there's something else about opening the door, feeling the one of nature, being greeted by a lovely spring morning. But now it's time to make ourselves a cup of tea and get ourselves ready for the day. lovely hearty breakfast to kickstart the day. It's been a very short lived camping trip and it's now time to get prepared to make our departure out of Break Farm and I was actually quite sad about it because I quite wished we could stay a bit longer. I thoroughly enjoyed myself and I wish the time didn't go as quick as it did. Just imagine sitting out here with a group of friends, having beers, having a barbecue, enjoying yourself, soaking up the British sunshine. But maybe for now, we need to head over to Europe and experience the van in a different country. But for now, it was time to leave. But that was easier said than done. We were in a slam van on a dirt track road. And just like that, our little camping trip is over. To summarise, it has been a bit cheated because we had the caravan and we spent most of the time in that having food, having food cooked for us and just chilling in the evening time. But the van, I think, has actually done us solid. It, was, it wasn't comfortable. I'm lying if I said it was comfortable, but it was warm, albeit too warm but it was just a really nice place to be. We didn't have a lot to set up because I don't own a lot of camping gear. So we only had the 110 and the bed to sort out and the blind on the front. I've never done this sort of thing before. I'm a novice to this kind of stuff, but I would absolutely invest money into buying camping gear to improve the experience further and take it up as a bit of a hobby because I think the van is a solid base to start from and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. The weather weren't too bad, but had the sunshine been out a bit more and it was a bit warmer, it would have finished off the experience pucker, been lovely. But I'd rate my camping experience, my first camping experience, probably a solid eight out of 10. There are a few things I have got in mind about doing with the van. One is changing the mattress because that was really uncomfortable. Captain swivel seat in the front, I think would be a really good idea as well. Maybe put a TV in there, iPad holder is great, or just buy myself an iPad, whatever works out to be cheaper. Need to get an awning, and I think that's probably about it. Most importantly, we need to get some stuff that cutlery, pots, I don't know, air fryer, things like that, if we were actually gonna rely solely on the van, to go camping with and not have your parents' caravan next to you to basically fall back on. Not forgetting that the thing almost caught fire on the way there. That wasn't great. But if you have enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button, check out the other videos on the channel, check out Oifness, check out Lowdown Transporters, and most importantly, come back soon for more automotive content. See you in the next one.